Okay, I have a DF200 AP VST. And I had a bad high pressure fuel pump, so I ordered a replacement from Quantum Fuel Systems. It's really easy to find on their website. Uh, it came already set up with the right plug and everything. So I'm gonna take this apart. Need three 12 millimeter bolts to take out from every side off of the engine. No cover removal is necessary. The high pressure filters here, unplug, and then a couple more hoses. And then we're gonna use a Phillips head to take off these guys and then change it out. So hang on and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so now I've loosened all the Phillips head screws. I'm gonna pull this off. Uh, careful, there's probably some leftover gasoline inside of here. So you wanna drain that off and you can see it kinda of comes off in two sections. You see mine's kind of corroded so we'll be replacing that setting this down look inside of here it's a fuel regulator uh, this is the high pressure pickup tube uh, that's really it for this bottom piece so let's drain this into a handy mason jar oh, spilled a little okay and then we can work on this side. So you can see, you can see the pumps are pretty similar in size and shape. Uh, should be a direct replacement. We just have to do a few things. So, okay. So once you swap over everything, I've taken the top grommet off and the bottom black grommet with filter attached to the new pump. Uh, I did notice that this wiring was backwards in the plug side. So I've changed it to match. Just make sure you pay attention to plus and minus. It's labeled on this motor, the original. You can see plus is the white wire on the bottom. And then uh, following that up, it goes to the top plug nearest the thing. And the um, blue wire is the positive on this one, also the top position inside this connector. So should run the same direction now and uh, any issues avoided. So next we'll assemble it. Okay, you can see we've got it reassembled. Uh, the plug for the electrical harness is back into the bottom, plugged in there. Uh, I've tucked the wire, it's a little long, just out of the way. I don't want it to get in the way of this float valve. Um, also, while you're here, it's a good idea to check to make sure your float valve is operational. There's a little needle here that will stop the flow of the high pressure. So you can see mine's moving freely. I had to clean that out. Um, make sure your grommet's seated. Everything looks like it's good. Uh, should be ready for reassembly. So. Um, just to jumpstart the process, I'm going to pour the gas that we saved into the mason jar back into the bottom of this VST and put the screws back in and put it back on the boat.